Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my review of a Gens Ace 11.1 3 cell 2200 milliamp hour 60C LiPo battery. It's sold exclusively by Gens Ace and TATTU Tattoo on Amazon. This is the box it came in to protect it during shipping. And then it's wrapped in bubble wrap and included is a very nicely written instruction sheet which talks about how to charge the battery and other safety issues about the battery itself and then the battery here is protected in bubble wrap let's take a look at it now you can look at the specs right on here um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the 60C and that typically means that you can go 60 times the 2200 milliamp hour. So you can take 60 times 2.2, it's approximately over 120 amps you can draw out of this connector for short periods of time. So that's really good. The higher the C rating, typically the heavier the battery is, the more kilowatt hours it has. And here it's listed as 24.4 watt hours. Now this is a 3S battery, as you can see it has three separate lithium polymer cells in there and they are wired in series and they come and are wired to this JST terminal for charging and you see you've got the red and then you have three black wires. The first black wire on the left is the negative, the starting of the first battery, then each one is the second battery, the third battery. And the third battery is the red one, of course, which has the 11.1 um, volts on there. Now, you notice this connector is also unique. It has a plastic shroud on there, um, which protects these conductors when you put it in and out of your charger, which I'm going to show. And then it has included a Dean's Type T connector on here which I really like because most of my planes do use that connector. I feel it's one of the best connectors out there. Um, let's talk a little bit about this battery in terms of size and weight. Also, before I forget, the uh, internal structure of the lithium polymer battery is made by Superior Japan and Korean lithium polymer uh, raw materials. And that's good, there's a lot of knockoffs out there, so this is the, the real thing. And this should have a long cycle life of at least 150 times of charging and discharging. And actually, it's 200 watts per kilogram, if you want to look at the energy density of it. And that port that I mentioned that is a JST-XHR port, which is pretty common these days. The company that I mentioned, the... Um, uh, Gens Ace is in Dublin, California, in USA, so you have no tr trouble reaching them if there's any support issues. The battery here is about 106 millimeters long by 25 millimeters wide by 34 millimeters. Um, and it's uh, 205 grams. Now I'm going to see what that is right here. I'm going to see what it is in ounces because I have a hard time with grams sometimes. So it's showing me that it's 6.63 ounces, and that includes charging cable and the T-connector and the power cable on there. So that's very reasonable for 20 to 100 milliamp hours. Now I'm going to put this on a charger, and I'll show you how to balance charge this properly, and show you what the different voltages, what they mean, and then I'm going to test it in one of my airplanes and uh, show you how it performs. So here I have the battery hooked up to the balance port of a Thunder A6 dual power charger and I have it on the port that's for 3 cell or 3S and then I have the the main connected to the main of this charger. Now you have a choice when you have this type of charger you can just do a raw charging where it goes into the main but doesn't use the balance port. I would highly recommend not doing that. Always try and charge your battery with the balance port because what that does is it's going to balance each one of those three cells that I mentioned. And you can go up to 2.2 amps to be safe. Um, a battery of this capacity could probably charge even faster, but I never 
go beyond the capacity of the battery. So you see I'm on the balance setting and it's on 2.2 amps, 11.1 .1 volts. And I can hold this in and start the charging cycle, does a battery check, and then it starts charging. 2.2 amps, that's the overall voltage 11.79. That's the current that's going into it. If I hit this next button, what that shows is the voltages on the cells. So you see it's 3.9, 5.93, and 9.0. So they're all very close to each other and that's what you want. And this is the first time I'm charging this. After a couple discharge cycles, those would be almost identical. And that's a sign that the battery is performing properly. You want to keep those as close as you can to, to being the same. So that's how you use a charger on this and just always remember to balance charge your battery. So I'm going to use it in a plane called the Big B and I've had this plane for oh about uh, 15 years and this is the perfect battery for this plane so we're going to give it a test flight right now. So it had a lot of power, took off fine, a lot of power, I can probably go straight up. And as you can see it's working beautifully. It's kind of hard to fly and record at the same time. We'll see how long of a flight we get out of it. Okay, the sun's going down, so I had to stop. This thing still had full power, and I flew for 14 minutes, and it was showing no signs of the power dropping. Let's see how the battery's warm. I was really pushing it. Okay, so I just took the uh, battery out of the plane right after I had that uh, flight, and it's just warm to the touch, which is good. No expansion, so this battery uh, performed really great. So what's my overall opinion about the Genzase 11.1 3 cell 2200 milliamp hour with a 60C rating LiPo battery with Dean's plug and a JST-XHR balance connector. Sold exclusively by Genzase and Tattoo on Amazon. I really like this battery. I have three other ones from the same company and they all perform well. I've had them for almost a year now. They haven't shown any bloating of any kind and they just keep producing that 2200 milliamp hours consistently. So I really like this brand of batteries and I really like this particular size in the 60C version. I'm going to give it a full five star rating on my channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.